it allows me to give the community a chance to come and make music for themselves. Everyone just really, you know, gets to come up here and do their thing, so. It really keeps me going. It's almost my religion. It's a spiritual thing for me, you know. It's unique. It's different. We have the space. Why not use it, you know? Uh, the Open Jam began about, uh, I would say about a year ago, I would play once a month in the coffee shop, every second Saturday of the month. And it, it began because I would always be up here with my guitar. And the coffee shop owner at the time, Mike Warnberg, would always encourage me to play more and more up here. And then I would teach people up here. It kind of became a snowball effect and he asked me to play here every Saturday by myself, so I would. And then I have people kind of randomly come about and it, and it became a open to anyone jam, not just me and my friends, not just, as Mike would have said, Billy and friends jam, it was just, you know, everybody. Because you know, I, I even remember the, the first um, the flyer she had, it said, come jam with Billy Presnell, and I was alright with that, but I asked him to change it, because I do not want it to be like that. I don't want it to be, come jam with this guy, you know, oh, because he's got it, or he knows what's going on. I mean, even though I host it, I look at it more like I facilitate it. And I asked them to change it to just open it. And they did. And it evolved to a weekly thing. And, uh, and it's just been getting better ever since. To me, man, I mean, I play, I get up there and I play, um, I'll play a few songs and, you know, jam and have fun, but really my f most favorite thing is to sit back and listen and watch everybody. I don't know why it is, I just, it's just fun to see everyone, like, having fun. It's just a really nice bonding experience that, like, whether you play an instrument or whether you don't, I mean, it's just, it's something fun to get out and mingle and meet people and you know see people you know, you do know and you know have fun. Uh, we we focus on speaking to each other more in musical form than actually playing to impress or playing off of each other. We're we're out here just to have fun and you know learn from each other. Um, e easy just than the not. I mean it was it was fun to get to meet new people. Um, see new friends, get great drinks, and hear some awesome music. Now, the improv is always fantastic. It's, it's great. But what makes this really special, I think, is that the um, the relationship between all the people that come. It's just, it's kind of like we're all speaking the same musical language. It just, it really connects. Crooked Door is an ideal location because it's a place where everybody can come together, you know, get a drink. Um, it's relaxed. Um, it's a really relaxed environment. and It's, it's great to, to play somewhere like here because of the environment, too. I mean, you have people who are going to be here anyway, people who are going to be here just for coffee. It, it's right in the middle of downtown Marion. It's, it's easy, easy to find. It's accessible to a lot of people. Yeah, it's accessible enough, but obscure enough to make it like this sort of, to enhance the ambiance of the night, to add a certain bit of um, who's who and the cool factor to the jam. I've been the owner of the Crooked Door for eight months. I wanted to keep the open jam because it, um, it created an outlet for people to come and just relax and to be themselves and enjoy whatever music they're feeling that night. So I just wanted a place that anybody could come and anybody could play. It's not just for the younger people, it's for the older people too. We are open and we aren't, we don't pressure you into having a certain style. Most open jams that are in town or that have tried to make it in town 
it was kind of based on a certain style. You come up, you play whatever you want. Sometimes we'll have, we had um, a Space Jam night. Other times it'll be more um, classic music or we went through a big kind of jazz phase. We have someone that comes up and brings turntables and then we just have whatever they decide to play. And, and the way that it works is like when you, you have a, a, an approach like that, you can throw in melodies or tunes or, or sample songs from anywhere. I, I, I could play Summertime by Gershwin in the middle of a jam if it lends itself to it. But the, the jam isn't summertime. You know, I'm quoting it. You know, like I'm throwing that quote out there in the conversation. It's, it's like, you know, you don't quote Shakespeare in the middle of a conversation with somebody, you know, unless the, it lends itself to it. If you're being, you know, whatever the situation is, you don't just randomly bust out in the Macbeth, you know, it, while you're ordering something. And that's the same approach. Music's so powerful, you know, it, it really is, and you can't, you know, you can sit around and say what it is or what it isn't, but nitpick all day, but you ain't gonna get to a, you ain't gonna get to an answer. You might get to your answer, but you know, it's different for everybody.